is going on guys it is Glake here all right so today I'm bringing you guys an unboxing video um, yeah I haven't done one of these in a long time if you're wondering what's in here and you didn't look at the title of the video it's uh, King of Fighters 13 the um, the uh, the burn to fight edition I think that's it's the collector's edition of it um, which is actually the first collector's edition of a fighting game for a fighting game that I've purchased in a long time I think the last collector's edition I picked up for a fighting it was Street Fighter Cross Tekken and yeah we all know how that game turned out anyway um I'm actually not really sure if that's the only thing in here because I actually ordered a book alongside um the game as well which was supposed to ship today but was in my mailbox or anything so I'm assuming that it's in here so I'm gonna have to be careful opening this up because I really do not want to rip the book at all um but yeah I'm not gonna waste any time let's jump right into this even though I'm not going to be able to actually play the game right away, I have some stuff to do before I be able to play it. But um, all right, uh, let's 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 try to open it. Hopefully, my info isn't really showing, but there's like nothing important on that receipt anyway. Ooh. I'm always like extremely worried when I open things from the front. I'm like actually trying to maneuver around my tripod right now. <laughs> yeah, I set my camera up on my tripod for some reason. I'm just tired of doing these with one hand. All right. Okay, my book is actually in here. That's funny. We're just going to put that to the side. <laughs> you guys don't need to see that book. Anyway. Yeah, it was actually in here. Holy freaking crap. Whoa. 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 Whoa, bro. Whoa. Toss that box to the side there. That's a... That's a... That's a nice packaging. Dang, let me see if I get a close-up on that. Um, yes, I can. That looks... That is... That is, that is crisp. That is crisp as hell. Um... Yeah, really nice box art. I like that. So I'm going to have to be careful with that one. You know, I have a ton of box art or a ton of boxes up on my wall. I don't want this one to get soaked because sometimes they get wet due to the rain leaking through the walls. Anyway, um, yeah, let's let's open this from this edge here. Eh. Actually, I probably don't even need a knife. If I could fit my finger in. There we go. This could not be any more uncomfortable doing it with my tripod in the way. I'm actually curious how people do these. They must have somebody hold the camera for them. Or they have three, four hands. One or the other. I wish I had three or four hands. That'd be amazing. Anyway, yeah, let's take a look at this real quick. So, I mean, that's the front of it. The back, you got all the characters. Um... New chapter, three on three team battles, 50 characters, improved mechanics, god I hope so. <laughs> online, hopefully the online actually works, I hear it's alright, so, um, kind of happy about that. Anyway, your typical KOF info. No! Please don't tell me I ruined the top. Okay. Alright, so, inside we have, let's just take everything out one by one. So, first of all, we've got the King of Fighters 14 Artworks art book. So, this is kind of nice. I think that's Kyo. That's his name, right? Is it Rio or is it Kyo? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's Kyo. Um, yeah, we've got him in the background. And then I forget this dude's name. Yeah, I completely forget his name. I feel kind of bad because, like... King of Fighters is actually, like, my favorite fighting game, but I know, like, so little about it. It's just my favorite fighting game. I don't know why. It's, I, I don't know. It just appeals to me a lot. We'll just set that here. But, yeah, it's kind of sad because I don't know, like, that much about it. Like, I don't know much of the lore. I don't know. I'm really bad at the game. And, uh, yeah, I don't know why I like it so much. I guess because it's anime. I'm not even that big of an anime fan either. Uh, soundtrack, KO14 soundtrack, nice. We got, we got some waifu. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, hello. 
Hello? <laughs> oh, it's Mai, but she looks different. She doesn't look like, like how she looks in-game. Interesting. I'm pretty sure y'all would just want to stare at that all day, huh? Wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? Okay, yeah. I completely failed because my finger got in the way. Anyway. And then, last but not least, we've got the game itself. PS4. Yeah. So, I mean, that's pretty much it. Um, honestly, I was kind of hoping more would come in here, but... I guess that's it. Like, no guidebook or anything. I guess that would have been too much, huh? Too much for such a cheap price. I actually got, um... So I picked this up on Amazon Prime, like I said. But I think I got it for, like, ten bucks off. So it was... I mean, the original game, the base game, is fifty nine ninety nine, And I got the whole collector's edition for $69. So I got it for basically nine dollars more um if you pre-purchase it or if you pre-order it on amazon you usually get a discount if you're using amazon prime so you get like 10 20 off some things so this is this is pretty much a no-brainer i was like you know i'm just gonna get the collector's edition i love getting these things even though like i almost never utilize what comes it with the collector's edition like i never listen to the soundtracks <laughs> or i'll never open up the art books but i just like having them to have them because, you know, I love wasting money. Um, but yeah. Anyway, that's it. Well, dang. Eventually I'll get better at making these. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. I'll probably do some KOF 14 videos at some point. But first, it's probably a good idea that I learn how to play. But um, after playing the demo, I feel like this game is a lot... It's a lot easier to pick up, in my opinion. Like, the combos aren't as difficult to do like they were in KOF 13. I feel like they've kind of toned down... Um, the combo system, just it's just a little bit easier to do combos. Like, I don't feel like I'm one frame linking absolutely everything. And, um, yeah, it's it's a pretty fun game. I think, I think this KOF is probably going to end up being my favorite KOF. The only thing that I like about King of Fighters 13 more is I like the dynamic backgrounds. They were so freaking nice. But in this game, the backgrounds for the stages look kind of plain. Like, they, they still, I mean, they still kind of make them, they still are trying to make them, you know, stand out a little bit, but I guess, I don't know, they just look really, really, really pretty in KOF 13, and I don't know, since they were going with the new art style and everything, I guess that was kind of their focus, which is fine, the art style is alright, but I don't know, I guess that's kind of the transition we're going to be dealing with from here on out, since they're kind of turning it into a 3D fighter a little bit more, I mean, it's still 2D, but 3D models. So anyway, that was this unboxing. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, sub if you want. Drop the video a like if you want. And comment below if you have any questions or anything about the collector's edition. I'll be more than happy to answer them. Anyway, guys, keep on gaming. I'll see you guys in the next vid. Peace out. Take care. GG.